everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. Right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always hot o'clock. Yep, we're in the uh, northern subarctic. Yep. Technically in the Boreal Forest, not really near mountains. So we brought the mountains to us. We did. Check these out. The Heathen Mountains. Yeah, look. It says Heathen. Can you see that? You can see it on this one for sure. Heathen. So these, that's us. We're going to talk about a couple of different things today. First, we'll get the glassware out of the yeah. way. I have no idea. Yeah. Also, I'm just along for the ride. First the things first, the most important thing about any of this is that you hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button, you hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the heathen goodness that happens over here. Kind of looks like a bell. A uh, little bit, a little bit. So what this is, is the, on Kickstarter over a year ago, uh, Lighton, L-I-I-T-O-N, launched this uh, awesome Kickstarter where they were doing the Everest glasses and decanter. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that that is an exact replica uh, obviously not to scale, <laughs> uh, idiot, of uh, Mount Everest. And then it says Lighten on the bottom, and then we got Heathens engraved up there. So the point is, uh, if you go to base camp, 1.5 ounces. Mm -hmm. If you go to camp two, uh, what they say, I think uh, 2.5. And then if you go right to the, the, the peak of Everest, is four and a half, uh, four and a half ounces. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that these glasses with the mountain inside, you put them in the freezer, and then they come out frozen within 18 seconds. Now, I tested that, uh, and that's bullshit. Yeah. I'm just giving you the truth. Um, these have been in there for probably 20 minutes. 18 uh, minutes! 18 minutes, for sure. We tried 18 wow. minutes, 18 seconds. It's cold yeah. as hell. Now, I didn't buy them because of the 18-second chilling factor. I bought it because I needed the new decanter mm -hmm. to use for a new Infinity bottle I'm starting. Plus, I thought this would be super cool. And uh, we, we figured we'd check it out. Now it is a heavy bottle. Heavy the mountains right. Big on heavy the side. Cork too. Huge heavy glass cork. And then also heathens right there. That all being said, it came with a tasting wheel that I'll probably never use because, um, just for an example, uh, they say fruit and they put apple and pear. Like there's only two kinds of fruits you get for flavors. Yeah. So this wheel is fucking stupid. I um, would use that wheel for cork and tip well, that's the only way it'll be used, and it is yours now, my friend. So, um, for shits and giggles, a bunch of the boys love when I pour terrible, maybe, potential garbage whiskey for Josh. Yeah. And I thought, well, why not christen something pretty cool with something that just looks cool? Yeah, and also, if you're into the more spooky, and you want to do a, a whiskey decanter, an infinity bottle, this is kind of like an immortal skeleton... You can soak this off with hot water, well, rub it down with icy propyl alcohol, and you got a nice smooth back, and then you can make your own infinity bottle. Let me tell you what it is. I would throw it in the recycling bin. It's a super looking, super cool looking bottle. I agree. It's, uh, I ET agree. 51 premium whiskey, 51% selection, uh, and then it says no taboo. Product of Canada, no taboo cork, okay. Winnipeg, Manitoba. Winnipeg. That is all the information they give you. So some of the boys posted this. My wife would want this bottle. Think so? Yep. Okay. Well, for Halloween, man, she's Halloween chick. It is kind of cool, an alien skeleton. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Um, pretty I know nothing pretty about pretty them. Like I said, pretty cool. the boys mentioned in the chat, they're like, you should get Josh to try this. I found it, I bought it, and uh, uh, we're gonna give it a little city. Who, who said that? Um, I believe, yeah, I think you can blame Sean Kincaid, the oh, dark cloud of himself for this. So let's take this giant cork off. Do you it. want it in your cold glass or your normal glass? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the cold one. All right, let's try it cold. Let's, uh, let's go right to the peak, four and a half ounces. Oh my Jesus. Okay, four and a half ounces. Four and a half ounces of premium Canadian whiskey. There premium because that's what they said. Now, it says it right on the label. It was under 50 bucks. <laughs> All let's right. move that out of the way. Yeah. Take that. Bruce will grab that. Hey, cheers, dog. Cheers, brother. Cheers to you, Sean Kincaid, for what's about to happen. Okay, smells like... Smells Canadian. Doesn't smell bad, though. Well, smells Canadian. <sighs> it smells kind of sweet. It does. Let's, uh... Let's do it. Yeah. I don't mind that. Tastes like it looks. Um, shitty. Pass that water over. <laughs> yeah, that might help. It doesn't taste shitty. It's very harsh though. It is. 
Yeah. Whoa, we'll look at it interact. Wow. I wish you guys could see that. Maybe you can. I'd say the water is probably warmer than the whiskey. Yeah, this is not shit. I'm just joking. But like, also, I would not buy this at all. I know you would never buy it. After tasting it, not a fat chance. No. But I'm not mad at it. I think it's terrible. Um, it's a high ABV. Mm. It's less than a dollar of a percentage point. What's so the ABV? Those 51. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's yeah. why. It's high. It's okay. 51. I just thought it was, uh, you know, 50 or 40% nastiness. No, no. With not good nasty. No, no, no. Brace of young corn nasty. It's 102 proof. I'll throw a nice little spoosh of water in there. Yeah, let's just say, okay, well, that makes sense then. See, with water, this could change everything. I had a momentary lapse of sanity. I thought this was low proof, high on the astringent scale, you know? Truth be told, this is about the seventh whiskey we've had tonight, so. Yeah. Let's see what happens now with the water. Yeah, let's see if your opinion changes. Let's see what happens with just a little more water. <laughs> I honestly don't mind it. At under 50 bucks, I think it was like $48. That's I think it's fucking a, gross, man. You think that's really gross? <laughs> oh, I, I don't mind. Let's add some more water. I mean, I'm not going out rushing to, to buy it. It's no, not me either. one that I reach for often. But at under 50 bucks for 51% ABV alcohol. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll give them that saving grace. If you like abrasive, harsh, young Canadian whiskeys, as many Canadian whiskeys are, such as Gibson's, yeah. and you know the, the lower end of the spectrum, Wisers and stuff, you start getting into the old Gibson's. This almost is like a higher ABV Wisers. Hell yeah. But this, I get it. 51%, okay. But I don't like it. Fair enough. Yeah. Hey, you know what? They didn't I said it was for you. fucking gross, and I think I may have overstated. Yeah, for dramatic emphasis. Good to talk. It's not something that I enjoy so much, but if I was over to ties or if someone had this and they're like, "Hey, you want to try something weird?" Yeah, man, I'll drink it again. I'm not. Gonna I see it as a mix for me. I'll tell you the truth. Oh, one hundred percent. That's where I was going with the Gibsons. Splash, 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 a splash, a seven up. Maybe some ginger, and you could be having a little cocktail. Maybe even like a weird spritzer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. that that I could do. Yeah, I could. But drinking this straight, I wouldn't do that. There's it's a not ginger nice. ale, perhaps. Yeah, a little Coca Cola. Yeah, a little cola. Yeah. 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 Like, as a matter of fact, let's just try it real quick. All right. Let's see, we're here. I mean, I've watered it down. I got ginger and seven. Let's, let's do ginger. Oh, ginger, yeah. It's yeah. a little spicy, so. It does get a touch of spice. We should point that out. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got. Now, let me taste it here before. You, did you want to try some or not? Yeah, yeah, I do. Diet ginger ale. Sugar is the enemy. Go right up. Yeah, I'm going to go half and, and half, half almost here. Let's see. I mean, let's see what happens here. Oh, you're down to like that. This is a very acquired taste. This is what I grew up drinking when I was young. Canadian whiskey and ginger and seven, right? Now we're talking. So yeah, it's a it's a high ABV mix with a super cool bottle. Yep. There you go. Man, that's a mixer. I'm glad. I'm glad that I went and grabbed that. And I only did it because Ty was like, man, you know what? Rethink this. Right? Ty really likes it, so I was like, Ooh. I didn't say I really like it. I'm saying it's not bad, and I don't mind it. Again, I'm not rushing out to buy another bottle of it, but it's still going to be cool to have in the house. I do like the bottle. Kind of reminds me of Club Envy a little bit, you know? I don't know what that is. Cowboys. Don't know what that is either. You know, Cowboy. You were here in Cowboys. Oh, I thought you were talking about like a certain whiskey. Yeah, oh. the nightclub. Yeah, I used to drink uh, whiskey and ginger. <sighs> this tastes like that girl in a short skirt and a tube top at 7-Eleven at 2 a.m. that needs a ride home. That's what that tastes like. I don't even know how to respond to that. Mm. There's a word for that. I think it's hooker. You're a hooker! But this tastes like something familiar. <laughs> yeah. Bad time. This tastes like going home for Thanksgiving and trying to 
go to the bar and see your friends you haven't seen in a while and kind of fuck that girl in high school you never got a chance to before you head back to the family. Todd. That's what that tastes like. like. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Wow. Man. You're on a roll. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Anywho, Any so back that? before that all got weird, which weird was about weird for me. a year and a half ago. Nope. <laughs> that was about when it started getting weird. Right when we started. Yeah, when you met me. All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I got nothing else to say about it. No, um, me either. For a Canadian whiskey out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. Cool they give no information if it's actually distilled there. Just says product of Canada. Doesn't say bottled or distilled. Oh, or I have no idea. It's uh, pretty nice coloring. I yeah. mean, it's probably fake. You know, but again, crazy. premium cool whiskey now. Weird bottle. Premium. Premium mixer, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Premium mixer because of the high ABV. Mixer through and through. 100%. Hands down. There you go. Yep. So. Super cool to lighten for making this badass product that's taken me a year to get. It's a very weak drink, as you see. It's all right. But it shows kind of cool. The little mountain in the background. This Mount is Everest, yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting take on a glass. So that's cool. I'm happy I got that. Yeah. And you know what? I'm happy I bought it because we got to try it. You got to see his reaction. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's all about, right? I don't that's care if I for. ever drink this again. You're never going to, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'm okay with that. I figured you would be. I want this bottle though. Nope. My wife wants it. Maybe. I like her. So. Yeah, okay, I don't I like care for too. bottles. I don't uh, like fancy garbage. I usually get most of your empties. Yeah, so. that's true. Making them in candles and shit. I make a cool, righteous candle. For under 50 bucks, that's a pretty cool gift to give to somebody. I give them you know what? Too. I would give this to my wife. There and she go. would use it to disinfect the counter. 51%. And then she would uh, put it out for Halloween. Maybe even keep it sealed and have a bottle out for Halloween. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right then. So yeah, Leiden, ET51, No Taboo Canada. Josh. Cheers. Heathens. Oh. Heathens. And to Sean Kincaid, the dark cloud who really wanted to see this. Fuck you. <sighs> yeah, Sean. Um, fuck you. <laughs> Sean Kincaid. <laughs> Okay. Hashtag the dark cloud. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's enough of that. Let's uh, let's go. <sighs> See ya. Mixer. Wow. Yeah, mixer for sure. Okay. That's how quick we can drink mixers when we're used to drinking 51% scotch. Fair enough.